Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about the CIBC Aragold Visa Infinite credit card, uh, my experience applying for this credit card, and at the same time I'll talk about American Express. Uh, Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card. So I'm going to look on my cell phone just for a few times to get the date uh, dates right. So I applied for uh, Visa Infinite credit card on uh, January 13th uh, by calling the customer service, and on the same date I applied for American Express uh, Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card. And uh, both of these cards applied by calling the customer service. So. What happened, uh, the next day I got an email from CIBC mentioning that uh, my application is under consideration and they'll let me know uh, if they've got further information or they'll send me the credit card, which is just fine. Now this is, uh, I'm talking about the weekend when I applied for these two cards and after next uh, Friday, after uh, a seven days or within just a uh, week, uh, which would be the next Friday. I received my uh, American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card in the mail. So, you know, they just sent it right away. It was approved and they sent it right, right away within a week. But I didn't have any sign of uh, receiving a CIBC uh, Aerogold uh, Visa Infinite credit card. And the next week, I had a call from CIBC. Uh, they asked me to return uh, the call because they left me a voice message. And when I returned the call, uh, actually at first I thought that you know they are declining my application or you know there must be something wrong, otherwise why they are calling me. So when I returned the call, they mentioned that uh, the guy asked me how much freight limit I would I, I want, uh, you know whether uh, you know he he can give me five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. So it's up to uh, me how much I want. So I told him that you know I don't need ten thousand dollars, just give me five thousand uh, dollars and that should be fine. And then the guy said, okay, that's fine, uh, we'll send you the credit card. So this is, again, about 10 days after I uh, applied for the CIBC Aragold Visa Infinite credit card. Now, another week passed by, nothing happened. So I got worried that, you know, what's wrong with my credit card. Uh, according to the guy I spoke with, I should be receiving it within a couple of days. But now it's another week, and since the first time I applied for this card it's about two weeks and I have nothing so I called the customer service and uh, what happened they were able to find my application and everything but I was told that you know my credit card was not sent uh, due to the fact that the last person I talked to who was the person who was asking me how much credit limit I would want didn't do anything so he forgot to you know send the request to the back office to mail out the card or I don't know what happened but he just didn't do it so there's no card sent out so he apologized you know um, he was uh, he said uh, they're going to send me the application uh, the credit card right away and then again the day after I received another email and actually I have this email and I'll give you the exact date uh, which is that uh, February 5th and on February 5th, I received a call from another CIBC person asking me questions again, which, you know, they asked me long before. Uh, like, you know, how much uh, a credit limit I want, you know, if I applied this for this credit card. So at this point, I was really surprised and I got a little bit upset and I, I told the person that, you know, what's going on? You keep calling me and asking me the same thing again and again and someone lost my application. So this person told me that, you know, this is the last time they're calling me. They're going to... Uh, mail me the credit card uh, and this is and she apologized again for you know losing the application at the first time and then the day after uh, which was uh, February 6th I received another email from CIBC mentioning that you have been approved for a CIBC credit card which should have happened about three weeks to four weeks ago and then finally I got my credit card actually yesterday so it was uh, let me look at the date it was February 10th so I'm sorry, it was February 9th, today is February 10th, it was February 9th. So the application I made was uh, January, 
let's take a look at January 13th and I received the card on February uh, 9th so it's almost one month just to get an application get a credit card from CIBC and the same uh, application I uh, did at the same time to American Express uh, where I received the card within a week so that's the experience I had with the CIBC customer service and their back office and you know the whole process it was a pain to receive the credit card and if you watch this channel you know that uh, I have a very high credit score uh, usually it uh, stays above 800 uh, if I apply for a few credit cards then it goes below 800 for a one month or two months but then it bounces back again above 800 so it never happened to me that anyone uh, declined me a credit card uh, application or anything so the whole experience were, was you know not uh, a good experience and also I found out that CIBC credit card uh, customer service they're not actually open 24 hour they open only weekdays uh, up to I'm, I'm not sure what time at night but I believe they open either up to 10 o'clock or something like that but definitely they're not uh, 24 hour but this is very important when you're uh, carrying a credit card and you're traveling across the globe with that credit card because you don't know when you need to call the customer service uh, not for uh, you know uh, lost credit card or anything but even sometimes you need to just call them uh, let's say your uh, charges got declined or you have a question so you need a credit card provider who offers 24-hour customer service uh, CIBC doesn't so that's another thing to look for when you uh, would like to have a credit card for uh, daily uses and everything uh, so this is the experience I had with credit card and I'll be reviewing the un unboxing this credit card very shortly uh, I do have the American Express uh, Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card unboxing coming up within the next few days and then after that I'll uh, publish the CIBC uh, Air Gold Visa Infinite credit card. So I just wanted to uh, give you, uh, let you know what happened. Uh, so you know when you apply for a credit card next time uh, you have an idea what might go wrong and what to do. So that's all for now. If you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider uh, subscribing and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.